So what are these pictures? Why do you keep them? Because it's always with me. Charles Matina was in and out of rehab before finally kicking his eight-year addiction to pain medication. It reminds you of that yeah, oh, rock absolutely. bottom moment. Oh yeah, look at that face. You can't miss it. <laughs> and then things get better. Yeah, and then this guy comes back out and uh, reminds you that this is who you want to be. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to be that other person. A doctor first prescribed the pills to cope with a foot injury. He just said, yeah, this is for the pain. You know, I wasn't told anything about the repercussions of taking the medication, you know, because, you know, it's not just like a miracle drug. It's more like a nightmare drug. Opioid addiction isn't an obvious problem here on the streets of suburban Long Island. It's largely hidden. But with one person on average dying every day from an overdose and even more people addicted, the impact is widespread and the costs increasingly borne by taxpayers. That's why Nassau County is suing. In this case, 19 pharmaceutical companies and five doctors. The lead attorney in the case says they are guilty of misrepresenting how safe the drugs are. They told doctors, it's okay, you can prescribe this for simple back pain. But what they left out was how addictive this was. So the pharmaceutical company, the companies cashed in on this and they made billions and billions of dollars. The county is hoping to recoup money spent on treatment and related health care, overtime and special training for law enforcement, and lost productivity, which they say amounts to millions of dollars. This is, you know, white picket fence America. And Jeff Reynolds works with families torn apart by opioid addiction. He says there aren't enough treatment facilities or government resources to deal with the crisis. We've seen communities thrown into immense chaos as a result, in some cases, of the aggressive marketing of these medications. As these companies laugh all the way to the bank, they ought to do something to help clean up the mess they help create. None of the drug makers named in the suit would appear on camera, but Purdue said in a statement they vigorously deny the allegations. Matina disagrees. They're not explaining to you the, the outcome of taking these pills. You know, it's not like taking a regular drug. When you're done with them, it's a really hard thing to get off of. For a community like so many in the United States, struggling to contain both the human and financial costs of this epidemic, he thinks the lawsuit is their best shot. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Long Island, New York. You're not getting any closer than that. <laughs>